Hi, Caroline. So let's check in with spirit and see what messages we have for you. When I tapped into your energy, I felt like we needed to go to the wisdom deck. So let's see what messages we have for you. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So it looks like you've got an opportunity that has either been presented to you and you're, you're thinking about pursuing or it's coming, right? But this is something that you are very passionate about. And I think you've been thinking about this for a while of starting a business, um, really getting things going for yourself. I think you've been dependent upon people a lot in your life and never really believed in your abilities and your your power to really make the life of your dreams by choosing what really resonates with you and doing what is passionate within your heart. But that's actually meant to be your provision. So let's look at this a little bit. First card is talking about being like the dolphin, not worrying, right? Just going with the flow, allowing life to unfold. They're not running around trying to fix all the shit, right? They're just like, hey, this is what's happening. I'm handling it. I'm dealing with it. I'm happy, right? It's don't worry. Be happy, right? But you are a little stressed about this because I think you really don't quite believe in yourself. But Spirit is telling you not only is it time for you to keep your dreams alive, but you're actually getting downloads in your dreams. I feel like you've had a loved one that's come through, a female loved one is coming through for you, that you are getting messages and confirmations, but then you wake up and you think, that's just something that I'm dreaming of. That's just something I came up with. That's something I want, so I imagine that. Honey, no, this is legit. This is legit. You are growing so much. Your awareness is expanding. Your light body is expanding. You are downloading new levels of consciousness every day. You're becoming a new person every day. You're constantly working on these things. But what I want you to understand is that in this process, you're supposed to choose you, right? You're supposed to believe in yourself. This is telling you to operate from a place of unconditional love, of joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, right? Gentleness, self-control, all of those things that you are supposed to be working with so that you can receive the abundant blessings that are headed your way. Like I said, you have this passion that is meant for you. It's meant to be your provision. So it's time to get in gear. It's time to choose what it is that you wanna do for a living that is gonna bring you joy, that is gonna bring you to that place of just operating from a place of passion and zeal to where you love doing what you do. Right now, you're feeling a little down in the dumps about things. And this is telling you that, hey, look, I, you ain't trying to stay there. You see her, she moving. She's like, okay, I may be feeling down right now. I may be struggling, but you know what? I know where I'm meant to go. I know what my purpose is. I know what spirit has for me. That's you. You know that you're meant for more. You know that you have a big call on your life. And if you choose, you can step into this very quickly, right? You just need to take action. Just take that next step. You have some new friendships that are coming along the way. I think you already have some of these people in your life that really truly love and support you and want to help you in this venture and are meant to help you. But you have to choose to one, believe in yourself, two, to go after it and do it, and three, let people know how they can support you. You are amazing and your talents, your skills, your abilities weren't meant to be in the closet. Show up for yourself and watch how your life changes.